Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce Hattrick's tools, this website, to monitoring your website and also monitoring your server performance. There's much more features to explore in this Hattrick tools website. If you watched my previous channel, you might notice I had some videos to talking about the website monitoring using GitHub project, UPP time, using GitHub actions and pages. Also, Flash Pin is also one of the popular website monitoring cloud service you can use for free as well. Uptime Robot, I have two videos about that. So those three websites can provide in free website monitoring. Uptime Monitor actually can do more. If you look at their pricing, you will notice they can do server monitors as well. They were monitoring your servers. Same, I also had uh, two videos to introduce four different tools, NetData, New Relic, Datadog, Instrumental. So those four sites can monitor your server performance for free as well. But if, imagine if you can combine those services into just one website to do them and also for free, also providing more generous free plan for you to use. That's a very ideal solution for the home project like I'm having to monitor my servers, my websites, just like this. You can see the server usage, the CPU usage, RAM usage, and they can store two years data, which is more than enough and more generous than any other plans I did before. So now let's start to explore it. I also has a blog post to talk about the features and how to use it to enable those monitoring. The certain features which I like most is server monitoring, CPU, RAM, hard drive, and certain ports, certain services. You have your own status page, you can do private or public. You can monitor in your website from 12 different locations. It also can monitor in your SSL, certificate, domain, explanation, date as well. No mention they have free for life plan, they have support, free support. It also can do blacklist monitoring. More details you can get it from their website on their monthly or yearly free for life plan. You can do sign up. So there's total you can for each account you can have fifteen uptime monitors plus fifteen server monitors. You can select four different locations to monitor your website. You can have public status page to publish it white label domains and which you can assign to your public status page. There are more integrations, Discord, Slack, Telegram, which those integration you never saw it from other free plans. So now let me go through the registration setup for your website monitoring and server monitoring for you step by step. The first thing we need to do is we need to get our free account. You, you just need to register your account. No credit card required. Click on free sign up or you can go to the sign up from free for life plan. Uh, basically just put your name, email address, password, then you can get it. Choose I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Choose I not a robot. Register. That is how simple you can do that. So there's a limited function because um, we didn't verify our email address. So let's gonna do that. So we're gonna confirm our email address. 
after you confirmed the flash page, the red banner gonna go away. So you will see the dashboard. There's nothing we didn't create our uptime monitors. We didn't create in our blacklist monitors. So we will do that in next step. So that is how simple you can register your account. Nothing to ask other than your username, email address. To start monitor your website, I'm gonna use one of my virtual machine to do demonstration. So this is Azure Cloud Ubuntu 20.4 virtual machine I created before. So this is a public IP. I installed the Nginx in there. It's a website. What we can do, I don't have domain with it. Um, but uh, what we can do is we can use an IP address. If you have domain to monitoring, just um, put it in. So there's a four type of monitor. You can create website, pin or service port. You can do port 22 monitoring as well. Also SMTP, Habit. So we are going to demonstrate the website. Others are very similar. So we're going to say this is our monitor name. So, um, this is the website, copy paste in. Um, nothing else you need to change. Uh, as I said before, you can choose four different monitor locations. So there are 12 available. So what I'm gonna do, just choose random four of them, add a monitor. Then they're gonna process in your request and the status shows active. You will see this I icon here so you can make it private or make it public so right now it's green that means we made it public also you want to change any settings just click this edit icon other than that there's some more features here we will go through that later on especially for install monitoring agent so right now so we are just do basic website monitoring so you can click on it you will see this is still in the process. Let's wait. The free plan is one minute interval. So they will do HTTP request to monitor your website every 60 seconds. So let's refresh the page. And now you see the uptime is 100%. They already requested that is how basic website monitor you can create it for your website. We call it uptime monitor. So next section we're gonna do a little bit more to the server monitor. We want to monitor our this server the performance. So this is SSH session. I using my SSH client to connect to it. So we want to see how the CPU ran, hard drive looks like, and we want to keep it monitoring on it. You can set up an alarm on it. You can keep your those history data for two years in the Hatchix Tools website. Now we did our basic website monitoring, but let's not the something I want to introduce today. I like to show you how to monitor the servers. So here is the server we are having. We want to see the CPU usage, memory usage, hard drive usage. And we want to keep that usage history for ourselves in the long term. In this case, we have two years history can be saved in the Hatchet Tools website. So if you haven't created a server monitoring before for your website, so then you will see this install monitoring agent. If you already have it clicked this install monitor agent, then it will be different, shows different. So basically what there's an installation code, you just need to copy paste it in. If you want to do something different, like you want to run agent as root, click on it. 
if you want to monitor driver health, if some requirement will need it, or if you want to view running process, just click on it. Port connection, you need to put the port, for example, 22, you want the monitoring, and port 80, you want the monitoring them. Other services, like Nginx services, you can put in there. For, for the demonstrating purpose, I just, this is more than enough, so I just copy the whole code and then I close here so right now if you look here it's monitoring agent package it's not installing because they they thinking you already got the code but if you want to do any changes you still can go back to make the changes for the code you want to run for the service you want to monitor and you want to update it just close now and we go back here we're gonna paste the code we copied from Hatrix Tools website. So let's um, wget and then run the SS script file with those parameters. Let's start it. So basically, we cannot run it because we are not getting into root mode yet. Paste it again. As long as you get the installation completed at the end, that's good. And you will see starting the agent on the root user. Perfect. So that's the only thing you need to do. This is a lightweight agent running on your server. Almost taken nothing from your server's resources. You won't feel it at all. So now, if you go back here, you will see this live agent status is a waiting agent to call back. And you want to reinstall it and remove the agent, click here. It's the same thing as you click from this config button monitoring agent package. If you want to make any changes, you can do update agent because we already installed it. For example, you want to install uh, some script for monitor software RAID, then click on this, then get the code, and then update the agent. We don't want to do anything right now, we just wait it to collect those information. We refresh page right away, you will see the CPU usage, RAM usage, disk usage, and network inbound throughput and outbound throughput. Click on it get more information here. So we don't have any history yet, but we were able to see the CPU model, the core, how many CPU cores, just one core. We're using a free tier from Azure environment. Um, one gig RAM, but here it just shows 855. This website is zero, we didn't configure anything yet. This is 64 gigabyte. CPU speed shows here as well. Operating system, pretty decent information. IP address, CPU, you can see the history starting to show up. Again, two years. They can hold in your data for two years. That's the most generous plan for free to use. I never saw this kind of two-year retention for your history data in any other monitoring service provider for free. Port connection 2280, which we are monitoring. Very decent information here. We can, as we can see, um, more than enough for us to ask this free web service provider to offer. The history data going to come in. I do have my own free website to show, which I already have some history data here. I want to show you guys again. So that's the seven days data, which shows the CPU usage. This is on one of my Oracle Cloud VM. I have enabled CPU look busy 
program running in the background, so you can see this kind of curved line to dynamic increasing your CPU usage to avoid the Oracle to pause or reclaim your VM because of it uh, I don't for too long. That's all I want to show you in this video. Uh, in the future I probably gonna show you more how to set up your status page and how to create your own contact list for monitoring and your own domain as a white label and how to associate your own domain with your status page. Then for now that's enough for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel if you haven't. See you in my next video. Thank you.